Good evening everyone, time for another member update. So this is the Bitcoin chart and uh, we have gone into a new high at 1980. Uh, I did not think it would happen. I thought that this was a double top and we were rolling over, but I was clearly wrong on that. Uh, Litecoin almost hit 30 bucks. It was at a low of about 20. So it may be that this run is not over. It has to go significantly higher to maintain the parabolic uh, trajectory. My projection short term would be um, 2,500 in the next week, probably, if it's gonna maintain this trajectory, or it, it may roll over. Uh, so let's uh, take a look at Poloniex now. I've mentioned it before, I've been getting my money off of this exchange it's been excruciatingly slow because I had a tremendous win with Florin coin and uh, they the exchange allows me to take off seven thousand dollars a day uh, but my coinbase only allows me to sell fifteen thousand dollars a week so I am dribbling money off of this exchange uh, I have a lot of money at risk here and uh, so it's kind of nerve-wracking because I still am watching the rumors about Poloniex and wondering whether they're going to go away. Now, I have taken uh, and diversified in some other coins. Uh, most of it's in USDT, but uh, I'll talk here a little bit about Library, which is going to be my next fundamental play, and I wanted to uh, share that with you guys. Before we do that, I want to talk about the silver story. You know that silver got smacked down. It was uh, rallying above 17 and then it got uh, absolutely crushed. But I wanted to play this video uh, with Liar Gantz, uh, Lior Gantz, who's being interviewed by uh, Elijah Silver Doctors uh, on this topic of silver possibly being remonetized and what that might mean. Um, so let's listen to that and I'm going to comment. One thing that I was going to also point out is you were talking about how um, right now people have confidence in the currency and also other countries at least have some confidence in the U.S. dollar. But one of the things you also have mentioned recently is that some countries kind of see gold as money, but no countries see silver as money right now. And you see that there could be this remonetization, as you say, of silver. So how would that impact the silver market sure and 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 going back to your last question because you you've asked me about the silver price and i never answered that i don't think it will be a one uh a one night event i don't think you wake up in the morning and silver will be repriced um it, it will be a very gradual um uh rise in price uh you know the last time that silver to gold was 75 to 1 it started and sparked a real uh, bull market in, in, the, in the gold and silver stocks um, uh, sector. And usually 80 to 1 is the extreme for the last 45 years. So once you see that going to, 40, uh, to 80 to 1, it usually reverse back to around 50 to 1. So let me stop it there because I have a chart here. This is the uh long term back to it's at the 100 year gold silver ratio and i just wanted to show you what he's talking about here so you can see that this line here is 80 to 1 you can see around the great depression is when that was reached and then it went all the way down to looks like 10 to 1 uh and then you can see this huge rise Remember, a rise in the, in, in the ratio means that silver is becoming worth less relative to gold. And uh, it went from that 10 to 100. And that was uh, in the mid-90s when silver was very, very low. Uh, and then it started down. Um, it went down with the dot-com crash. And you can see that we went, that price he's talking about, 50, around 50, back up to 80, back down to 50, back up to 80 with the uh, 2011, uh, or no, I'm sorry, the 50 was uh, um, prior to the recession. The 2011 
price is, was nearly 30 this is when we got $50 silver and but you can see right before we got that it was 80 now we're back up to 80 again you can see that the the ratio started to correct we had that rally of silver uh, silver was stronger than gold for a while we got that uh, price high I think it was 23 24 dollars on silver and then it failed and we're back down around 16 um, so but you can see we're still in that same sort of pattern we've touched 80 and we're on our way back down uh, will we go to 50 to 1 will we go to 30 to 1 or will we go all the way to 10 to 1 um, or even 1 to 1 so let's continue with the video so 51 you'll, you'll see um, silver at a lot higher prices um, it, it is important to understand that silver acts very much today as an industrial metal so the incentive of uh, of commerce is to get that price down and not up it's not uh, it's not acting as a stabilizer for currencies so um, the incentive of every commercial company in the world is to see the price of of silver go down because uh, that will help the consumer buy more products like laptops um, you know cell phones etc and the myriad of other thousands of applications for silver uh, which will all be priced uh, good for the consumer if silver prices uh, go down now if silver resumes a monetary position with uh, with either institutions large funds governments etc that changes the whole uh, theme for silver, and it becomes uh, much more entwined with its historical average of about 16 to 1. So it, it's, a, it's speculation whether or not this will happen and whether or not people will uh, reinstitute the free market or uh, whoever institutes uh, silver back as, uh, as a piece of – as a monetary unit. But you got to remember, the biggest and largest and most stable empires – ever did not use a gold standard they, they they used a silver standard the ottoman empire not too long ago the roman empire um even the greeks so uh, silver is is throughout history been used as money in, in commerce uh very much so but obviously in the 21st century we're looking at a very sil uh, uh, a very different kind of silver standard uh, that's going to be very digitalized obviously backed by silver but very comfortable for the for the average person it's not like you're gonna carry around silver coins that will never come back into um commerce the the world is moving into digital currencies um uh, hopefully outside of the realm of government but uh it, it doesn't look like it right now um but even if a, a gold or silver standard of some sort gets reinstituted it's going to be very comfortable and very easy to to deal with it's not going to be um, you know, medieval times. So um, I wanted to share with you the library credits and why I'm pursuing that coin. As you know, uh, I've been trading, well, great, now it's getting away from me. This is, uh, I've been trading just uh, technical trades for the last two weeks on these coins. They've been so wild. You can see here the Einstein coin is taking off apparently I missed that trade but uh, so I've been trading these sorts of things and making anywhere from 500 to a couple thousand dollars a day every day and just getting in and out uh, buying down here and selling up there uh, but with library credits I just happened to come across a thread that I was reading in Bitcoin discussion and uh, it convinced me that this this is actually uh, probably what I expected Florincoin to do and is actually going to succeed at it. Florincoin may well exceed at, succeed at it as well. Because I had a tenfold uh, price gain on the Florincoins, I pretty much unloaded most of them. Um, you can see on Florincoin's chart that it is holding steady above 3,000, which is is significant considering you know we were down the best we could do on price was about 15 to 1700 and I was selling into those uh, I sure wish I would have waited on some of those but I also sold into a lot of this 
but you can see that it's it's staying fairly steady but it's gained significantly in market cap whereas library credits which i believe actually is implementing the platform much better than the alexander project is with Laurent and coin which is not inherently tied to it but it is connected to it but i think that library credits is actually doing it they have a active ceo they have employees they're they're busy rolling out the product and that's why i'm starting to accumulate kind of a fundamental position uh, i i have a whole bunch of bitcoin stuck on poloniex that i can't get out and uh, i may pull them off as library credits uh, down to the wallet I just downloaded a wallet and you need to be accepted into the open beta. You have to put in your email address to get that wallet unlocked. But uh, I noticed on the next screen it said, but if you want to join right now, all you have to do is send one library credit to this address. Uh, and then it just gives an address. So I'm going to do that tomorrow because I'm maxed on my withdrawals on Poloniex. I'm going to send one library credit to unlock that wallet. I'll let you know how that goes, and uh, if people want to get that wallet, uh, they can post their address uh, in the chat, and I'll send them uh, a library credit to their address so they can unlock their wallet. So let's listen to this video. Uh, kind of is an enthusiast. Talk a little bit about it. Maybe help you understand what this is. Uh, I'm not a promoter. <laughs> I'm just sharing with you another one of my hunches going on cryptocurrency universe it's the bitcoin miner here guys well today library has launched their platform to the early accessors so if you signed up for it um i did an email excuse me i did a video a few months back if you make sure to sign up for it you got this email today and we can actually go in and check out the new library platform i'm really really excited you guys are going to be able to find all my videos on here so make sure to go check it out as well. I'm going to have my own page and everything. I'm not sure if this stuff is set up quite yet. I think this is just the launch. I think that's coming in the next week or two. But let's check it out, guys. Let's do it together. So I went ahead and downloaded it. I can already tell they've revamped the homepage. It looks pretty different. And we've got this cool little uh, box right here. I guess we get uh, some sort of reward. We'll figure out what that is. Uh, I like their sayings. Definitely cute. So, yes, let's support Library, guys. Library is going to be a awesome platform for any kind of creators, content, media, and for any kind of information, period. So let's see what we get. Okay, well, this is the new Library homepage, guys. It's looking pretty good. So we've got 20 Library credits, or LBC. This reward will show in your wallet momentarily and probably while you're reading this message. And it actually did. I had about 501 and there we go. So LBC uh, is used to compensate creators to publish and to have a say in how the network works. So it's kind of like owning a stock in a sense. Um, by owning LBC, you basically own stock in this platform uh, to keep it really simple. And it's also a way of watching videos and it's a medium to trade it's a trade medium so let's check it out guys let's see what this is all about gotta figure out how to hold the phone and show you guys this and use the mouse so it looks really neat they got the comedy channel current events brain food featured films community top five um gaming crypto fix education so these are pretty much the main topic categories and then we can just go through and search something um let's see if i can find something to watch real quick Oops. so as you can tell there is a little price assigned to them free and 0.6 but they always cost a tiny amount to transfer even if it says free because you have to pay for the bandwidth so, let's, like I said, let's just pick one of these and see which one works and check it out. Let's see what happens. Okay, I guess it's loading. Okay, cool. This looks really good, guys. Awesome. Shows you the content type. You can download it, and let's see if we can just straight stream it. 
really excited to check this out. I haven't seen any of this. I mean, I've seen some of the early stuff, but nothing like this yet. So what does this say? It may sit here for 15 or 20 seconds awkwardly while we're working on it. Okay. Alcohol is one of the most socially widespread drugs, and it's been part of human culture for thousands that of years. That was fast. This is for pretty evident reasons. For anyone who's tried it before, you'll notice that alcohol quickly makes you better at many things, including temporarily talking to girls and thinking you can jump down more. So basically what this does is this has four parts to it. It has the coin, uh, the blockchain is coin connected to uh, this media platform. Then it has the media platform itself where you can create content, get paid for it. It also has a hosting uh aspect to it as to where you can get paid for hosting the content so uh, if you share out a percentage of your hard drive then you can earn library credits for sharing whatever content you choose to share it could be somebody else's content that you're hosting you could host your own content uh, it could be web pages it could be um, uh, any other things like that and then the last thing is there's kind of a market for uh, a competitive market for the media itself so if you're the original copyright owner of something and obviously there's the whole issue of torrents and uh, as uh, torrents get older they fall off and they're not hosted uh, but torrents have illegal content quote unquote uh, copyright and content well this is an incentive for the original copywriters to come in and just put the content there and charge whatever they think they can get so it's an attempt I think the CEO was quoted as saying that we're out to destroy YouTube and Netflix and uh, considering that this coin is only at about a 10 million dollar market cap um, I'm sharing it with you guys because I'm trying to kind of accumulate the coin on the sly unfortunately uh, this is me buying here it looks like the bots have figured out what I'm doing and I've seen recently on Poloniex and read an article on it as well from a top trader that he believes that Poloniex themselves are actually the other side of many of these trades and that the pump and dumps are actually uh, Poloniex operations that that could be the case and that gives me serious pause we saw the same thing at Cripsy dang I missed this Einstein coin uh, maybe catch it on a rebound so I just want to let you guys know about that and uh, with the silver it's it's still a fantastic time to accumulate silver you can see with the gold silver ratio um, it's been a fairly consistent pattern except for one time here when we went up to 100 to 1 we pretty much hit that 80 and gone the other way and uh, either gone back down to 50 or 30 or 10 or even lower uh, that's gonna give us anywhere from a 50 to 100 to maybe $150 silver price uh, if those different points are hit so I think it's still a fantastic time to accumulate silver especially if you have a lot of high valued cryptocurrencies I do expect a crash in Bitcoin I cannot say when that's going to happen Bitcoin has been through many corrections and a number of those corrections have been 90% uh, you also have to remember that at, after those corrections happen uh, let's see if we can pull it out on uh, I think Bitstamp has the oldest data here. Let's go to the one week. And now it doesn't go back that far. It might be uh, Bitfinex that has the oldest data. None of them are really showing that old of data. But you can see here that uh, at least one point here we had uh, a very significant correction. Um, but I from my memory I know we've had at least two 90% corrections and I think we've had three 90% corrections in this bull market so a 90% correction here is going to take us down to $200 per Bitcoin I know that sounds insane but we've had them in the past and when those corrections occur the market kind of dies it's it's not active I think the alt market may die or become very very quiet so again to emphasize for for a $2,000 Bitcoin, you can get 
for each Bitcoin you can get a, a very large amount of silver uh, it's, it's definitely a good trade at this point although Bitcoin could go higher so uh, I'm betting on library credits I'm interested in you guys's view and uh, it would be great if they remonetize silver it would be a win-win and we'll talk to you next time